All right, universe, uh, I had to get this video out ASAP because this just, like, wow. You know, we, I wasn't even going to do a video because all day it was like, it's rumored that Netflix is, has ordered a new show a new show based on Neil Gaiman Sandman. And to which I was like, oh, sure, of course they are, because Netflix does everything, right? Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. But no, it literally got confirmed as of this recording, like, 20 minutes ago, that um, Netflix is like, yeah, no, we're totally... Even D DC Comics literally came out and said, no, yeah, they're to Netflix is totally doing a Neil Gaiman season... A, a fir well, one season of Neil Gaiman Sandman. We're totally doing a Sandman uh, Netflix show. To which I was like, yeah? <laughs> You're serious? Wow. Can we just talk about the, the the long road to get here real quick, people? Can we just talk about, like, how long of a road it was from a movie to a TV show on HBO to back to a movie to something else? It wasn't... Ha it was in development hell for literal decades. Like, no, really. I know, like, there's been a lot of talk over the past five years for a Sandman show or a mo and or movie, but literally nothing came out of this. In fact, I'm not... There's a part of me that still isn't fully convinced this is a thing until I see a freaking, um... Until I see a freaking trailer. There's, like, a part of me that isn't, still isn't convinced because this has been in, like, for ages, like, dead in the water. Because the thing about Neil Gaiman's Sandman is that well, it's a masterpiece, and it's really hard to copy art, you know, that kind of level of art. I also find it funny that not only, you know, that we've, um, we've been having some controversy because there was this Christian website, um, that wanted Netflix to cancel Good Omens, even though it was on Amazon. Yeah. So I feel like it kind of, it's kind of funny that there, you know, Netflix is now doing a famous, um, Neil Gaiman work on, ne on their channel, because I feel like they saw Good Omens and was like, Oh yeah? Well, we're gonna do Sandman! Eat it! Also, why the fuck did we get all that hate in the first place? I have a feeling that they were, like, ready to just bust this out right after the, uh, angry letters, uh, about Good Omens. Which, by the way, was completely stupid. Uh, not the show. Not Good Omens is stupid. Now, I'm not saying Good Omens. What I'm saying, the, the quote-unquote idiotic controversy was fucking stupid. So, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, um, um, anyway, so yeah, I just, I just find that funny that we have, um, now two major streaming sites doing two major Neil Gaiman things, so it's only a matter of time before we get a, well, I can't really think of anything else major Neil Gaiman hasn't had adapted into, uh, film and or TV. But here's the big thing. Sandman is a freaking masterpiece, like I said, so it's really just a... It's a matter of, I know Netflix has got some major money. They have got some serious money behind them. But the fact of the matter is, is that Sandman is something mind-blowing, and also kind of a horror show. I mean, hell, um... Uh... <laughs> did you guys not read the com If you guys want a good explanation of what, um what kind of damage mentally um, Sandman can do to you, go read the issue 24 hours. Not gonna spoil anything, but that is the definition of a horror comic for me. And I don't usually get scared by horror comics, but that one just made me go, ugh. There's also a fan film on it on here on YouTube, um, which was really equally good, too. Now, the big question is also, who are you going to cast for the Sandman? Who are you going to cast for Daniel or the Endless? You know, who's going to be, who could be Death? Honestly, I think, had it been in our younger years, Christina Ricci would have been a really good Death. Um, but you need someone young. Maybe, I don't know if she's old, like, she's, maybe she's too old for the role. But then again, Death is kind of, what is basically one of the Endless, but her idea is that she's a teenager-looking character. But... Maybe Aubrey Plaza would be a cool one. I think Aubrey Plaza would make an interesting death, um, because she kind of has that I don't care, I'm eternal kind of vibe to her. So maybe that that would be a good maybe that would be a good pick. I don't know. I'm bad at casting. I'm I'm just wondering of how much you can do with this show because there's cl there's obviously so much you can undertake with this, but it's it's an uh, it is that's what it is. It is an undertaking. 
Now, what we do know is that it is going to be 11 episodes. Um, the first season is going to be at least 11 episodes long. And I really hope it's the Doctor Destiny arc. I really, really hope they do the Doctor Destiny arc. Um, because I think that would just make a great first season of doing everything with Doctor Destiny. Because that was the start of the Sandman comics for Neil Gaiman. So I think that'd be a fun, uh, fun little intro. I... I don't know, like, I think that would just be, it'd be a nice little horror, like, horror and deep mythol, and going some deep mythology di diving, as well as maybe we could also get the Corinthian, if you, for some classic old school fans of that, of, uh, Sandman as well, to get the Corinthian in here. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be neat. It also makes me wonder, it's also, I find it funny that this got announced not even a week after, um, after it was announced that Vertigo was ending. Yeah, after nearly 30 years, uh, Vertigo got got ended by DC, and now we're getting this. You know, I find it amazing that this got announced not even a full week after the end of Vertigo. So, yeah, and it also makes me wonder of what other former Vertigo titles we could probably get now. I personally would love to see um, American Vampire. I would absolutely love to see American Vampire get a show on Netflix or somewhere else. American Vampire is probably my favorite Scott Snyder work, and it was per the first thing he did at, at, at DC. It was a Vertigo title that even uh, Stephen King worked on. So with all the uh, you know the, all the buzz about Stephen King work being made, um, I would say yeah, American Vampire would be an excellent uh, intro into more Vertigo stuff. Um, it also would be kind of fun to see maybe. Um, Another one of uh, Scott Snyder's work, Undertow. Undertow would be a neat one. That's just me, though. So you guys tell us here at Un Comic Universe, what um, what do you guys think of Sandman coming to Netflix? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? And if you're also, what do, who do you think, or rather, what do you think, what other Vertigo titles would you like to see get, net, get on Netflix or another kind of streaming service? Just comment below, let us, let us know. And if you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button because YouTube fucking hates us. Um... And remember to like, share, and subscribe this video with your friends, family, and everyone else. I'm DPC, and on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once more in the universe.